Hi, my name is Leanna Scott and I'm the Coping with Depression blogger for HealthyPlace.com. Today I'm going to talk about post-vacation blues, which I am suffering from. I recently returned from a trip to Malta, which is a small island in the Mediterranean. My sister lives there and this winter has been so awful I decided that I was going to take an impromptu trip to see her. And the Mediterranean, even though their winter is right now, their winter is 16 degrees. So I decided that that's a lot better than southern Ontario, which is suffering a heavy snow, heavy ice, and minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is below zero Fahrenheit temperatures, and hopped on a plane and went to see her for a week. I just got back on Friday. And despite my hope that I wouldn't have the post-vacation blues, it's been about 48 hours and I'm already starting to feel the, the pull, the, the depression settling in. So there are a few things that I did. Uh, one thing before my trip and a couple of things since that I'm hoping will help to ease uh, the burden of some of these feelings. So the first thing that I did to combat post-vacation depression is I booked a couple of days after the trip uh, off. So I landed on a Friday and um, that gave that gives me Saturday and today Sunday to recuperate from any kind of flight fatigue. The second thing is I forced myself to leave the house today. Again, it's Sunday today. Yesterday being Saturday and I was so tired, I just stayed in my pajamas all day and I rested and whatever. But today, even though I wanted to do the exact same thing, I forced myself to get dressed and get out of the house. I went to visit my parents. I showed them my pictures. I recounted the events to them. I even Skyped with my sister in Malta so that um, I can show my share that with my parents, but it also helped me to relive some of the some of the vacation. The third thing that I'm able to do is work from home tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, and working from home will help to ease me back into my routine, which is very good because again, like I've said, it's Southern Ontario and we're getting like the worst winter that we've had in probably you know 10 years. So by working from home I don't have to take a long, my commute is usually an hour and a half and by working from home I can stay cozy in my house and just work from home, get through all those emails and get caught up on some of the work that I've missed. So those are three things that I'm going to try to help combat the post-vacation blues that I'm feeling uh, are just resting on my shoulders waiting to pull me down. When I'm, I haven't felt this way in quite a few years where I just had to go somewhere that was sunny and warm. But it's a double-edged sword when you have depression and you go away when the reason that you're going away is because your depression is starting to get worse and then you feel better when you're away but then when you get back you have to you have to work really hard I have to work really hard to make sure that the depression doesn't um, really uh, send me in a in a tailspin in any case those are my three um, hopefully helpful tips for combating post-depression blues, and um, I hope they work for you. Thanks.